Just where do I uh, begin with this story? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. More recently at the Starbucks in Pennsylvania, two African Americans were recently arrested. According to the reports of the encounter, the African American males asked to use the bathroom, however they were told that the bathroom was for paying customers. The two gentlemen then proceeded to sit down to wait for their friend and the manager asked them to leave the premises, however they refused. Then the police went to the Starbucks location, they asked the gentlemen to leave, they refused, and uh, this happened. The reactions from this event was of course very uh, simple minded. Waiting in a Starbucks while black is a crime? As many people I see taking up space, using their bathroom and internet without carrying a cup? How revealing that a Starbucks employee who works in a place where people spend hours sitting around using the Wi-Fi and tapping away on their laptops with or without coffee get alarmed enough to call the cops just because black men enter the space and don't order away. Laudering without a latte is not a real crime, but apparently a racial offense for which one could be arrested. Laudering and bankruptcy laws were used since Reconstruction to fuel an earlier era of mass incarceration. During the aftermath of the event, Starbucks since then apologized to the black men, and of course there were various protests across the nation at various Starbucks locations. Starbucks coffee is anti-black. Starbucks coffee is anti-black. One sign during the protest that really caught my eye was the one that says, coffee is black, not blonde. I mean, after all, coffee and race are just definitely the same thing. Additionally, Starbucks decided to close many stores across the nation temporarily for racial sensitivity training. On the afternoon of May 29th, we are closing all 8,000 plus U.S. company operated stores in the United States for a mandatory training around unconscious bias, conscious inclusion, and ensuring that we take every step we can so that every single customer that walks in our door feels welcome and safe. Just this whole entire controversy about Starbucks is just really stupid. It's stupid because kicking out somebody from a restaurant is not at all a racial issue. Restaurant owners have a right to kick out people who are not paying customers. Restaurants are there to serve customers and by customers, of course, I mean people who actually buy the stuff at the restaurant. Since those two black men were just sitting around waiting for their friend, by definition, they're laudering because they're not paying customers in the slightest. And because those black men were not paying customers, of course the manager at Starbucks had every right to kick them out if they want to. What was also dumb is the reaction from Starbucks. I mean seriously, racial sensitivity training for enforcing your policy just wow. Starbucks is not a racist company. I'm pretty sure they'll force the exact same policy if a group of white people were to do the exact same thing. Why would a racist company go out their way to apologize for what happened and have racial sensitivity training? This event, along with many other events, is just one of many examples of how some black people want to play the victim when in actuality, they're not the victim. Instead of trying to play the victim all the damn time, we as black people should have a sense of self-responsibility. Stop blaming everything on systemic racism. Stop blaming everything about the white man. If you go inside of a Starbucks, Make sure to purchase coffee and please, for the love of God, stop saying my racism all the time. I got pulled over for weed racism. Actually, it's because it's illegal in many states. I am so freaking poor. It's the system that's keeping me down. Yeah, you should probably take education more seriously and you can get money from welfare, so. We. Black people can experience slavery through post-traumatic slave disorder. What in the fuck you guys are talking about? If we stop acting like victims, only then people will start taking us seriously. What's next? Giving black people free coffee? How you doing? Good, how are you? 
All right, I heard y'all was racist, so I came to get my um, free coffee. I saw that. Yeah, I heard you guys don't like black people, so I wanted to get my Starbucks reparations Not voucher. What's that? Is that a real thing? It's a real thing. I mean, I'll give it to you. I, yeah, I saw that on my Twitter last night. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a free coffee. I'll give you a free coffee. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. I mean, this is justice. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.